Welcome to the webcast. How is the fixed indirect cost rate calculated? Detailed information about the indirect cost rate proposal process can be found at education.ohio.gov and by searching indirect cost rate proposal. Please download a copy of the instructions and workbook now for reference while listening to this instructional video. Let's begin by looking at how the indirect cost rate is calculated. The rate calculation is a simple math problem. Indirect costs are determined by dividing an organization's indirect cost by their modified total direct cost. The quotient or result becomes the indirect cost rate. You may be asking yourself, what are your organization's modified total direct cost versus indirect cost? The answer to that question is a little more complex. The Indirect Cost Rate Proposal Excel Workbook is used to help districts categorize these costs. The calculation is straightforward, however, the preparation of the workbook is more complex. Keep a lookout for other webcasts to help you navigate the Indirect Cost Rate Proposal. Now, let's look at the different types of indirect cost rates and how the rate is calculated. There are four rate types an awarding agency could utilize for issuing indirect cost rates, which include provisional, predetermined, final, and fixed rate with carry forward. Ohio uses the fixed rate with carry forward methodology. With this approach, the difference between the estimated and actual cost of a period is carried forward as an adjustment in a subsequent period. In other words, when calculating the current fiscal year's indirect costs, the actual financial data from two years prior is used to calculate an estimated rate for use in the current year. Let's consider that with a little more detail. To calculate a fixed rate in fiscal year 19, the financials from fiscal year 17 are used. In fiscal year 20, use financials from fiscal year 18, and so on. In the first example, any under or over recovery in fiscal year 17 is accounted for and adjusted as a carry forward in the subsequent two-year period or fiscal year 19. The next slide provides an example of the indirect carry forward with adjustment worksheet found in the workbook. Typically, the carry forward worksheets can be found on tabs three and four of the proposal workbook. In this example, the three fiscal years of data displayed are 2015, 2017, and 2019. If you downloaded the proposal workbook, click in any cell to see the formulas used in the calculation. All data are pulled from other worksheets completed in the proposal workbook. It is best to look at the carry forward with adjustment worksheet in sections, both horizontally by rows and vertically by columns. To begin, horizontally. The top one third of the worksheet, or rows one through 12, calculated estimated fixed indirect cost rates for each year using financial data from two years prior. The middle section, or rows 14 through 21, are actual costs for the fiscal year. And the lower section, or rows 23 through 29, calculate the carry forward adjustment. Vertically, the workbook is divided by fiscal years. In this example, Fiscal year 2015 is columns D and E. Fiscal year 17 is in columns G and H. And lastly, fiscal year 2019 will be found in columns J and K. All columns calculate using the same methodology. For this webcast, we will focus on columns G and H in fiscal year 2017.
As you have learned, the top portion of 2017 used the fiscal year 15 actual financial data. Now let's interpret the data. Highlighted in yellow is the actual modified total direct expenditures for fiscal year 2015 or the MTDC of $224,698,062. Highlighted in green is the actual departmental or indirect costs for fiscal year 15, totaling $3,297,387. And, highlighted in orange, is the calculated carry forward of $218,334. To understand the over recovery amount, you must also look at columns D and E for fiscal year 2015 and the lower section of the worksheet. The carry forward adjustment in fiscal year 2017 is reconciling what happened in fiscal year 2015. When preparing the fiscal year 2015 indirect cost rate proposal, you were given an estimated fixed indirect cost rate of 1.6% based on fiscal year 2013 actual financial data. When preparing the fiscal year 2017 indirect cost rate proposal, you were given an estimated fixed rate of 1.37% based on fiscal year 2015 actual financial data. Consequently, the fiscal year 2015 estimated fixed rate of 1.6% was too high, resulting in an over-recovery of $218,334. Here is how the carry-forward over-recovery adjustment was calculated. Highlighted in yellow, the modified total direct base of $224,698,062 was multiplied by 1.6% resulting in an allowed recovery for indirect costs of $3,595,169, which is highlighted in blue. Highlighted in purple is the actual fiscal year 15 calculated indirect cost recovery amount of $3,376,835. This amount is the sum of the actual fiscal year 15 indirect cost of $3,297,387 found in cell D18 plus the fiscal year 13 under recovery amount of $79,448 found in cell D19. And finally, Highlighted in orange is the difference between the indirect cost recovery and the actual indirect costs. The carry forward calculation Ohio has selected for use is quite comprehensive. However, this method eliminates the need for districts to file amended federal reports when their actual indirect costs vary from the estimated indirect costs. The fixed rates approved are the maximum a district may use to allocate indirect costs. Your district may decide to minimize the amount of indirect cost recovery charge to any or all federal projects. We hope this webcast helps you understand how the fixed indirect cost rate with carry forward is calculated. Other webcasts in the indirect cost rate proposal instructions will aid when completing each worksheet in the Excel workbook proposal.